Now, I think uh, we need to uh, clarify what is one more than one clause and more than one uh, activity. Now, when uh, we, we, we have learned when we express time, where does time go? Where does time go in the Chinese sentence? Where does time so the subject? Go? Everything's after the subject. That's not important. What is important in, in terms of time and everything else? It's before the first before the, time. Before the what's important in a Chinese sentence? Before the subject. Before the subject. No. No. Before the object. Before, before the, the bird. bird. Before the bird. Before the bird. Sometimes the com uh, the subject is not there, but the time is there. As long as the time is before the bird, you'll be okay. All right. Sometimes we don't need a subject. Okay. So before the bird. Uh, what time are we going to eat? There is no we in the sentence. What time we eat? What time eat? Okay, literally is what time eat, but it's assumed we're talking about us. Otherwise, you wouldn't have that sentence. Okay, so sometimes the subject is not necessary, but what's very necessary is the verb. Okay, so every sentence has to have a verb. Sometimes it's not just one verb; it's two verbs. Okay, because sentences are getting longer. We do not go around the world uttering, saying only one short sentence. If we say only one short sentence, we, 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 we sound like a three-year-old in any language. Okay, so now we are starting to have uh, what's called a compound sentence or a complex sentence. Complex sentences are consist of two clauses. Now, in this English here, was I say clause, clause. Okay. Now, clause. So two clauses and with the punctuation of comma in the middle. Okay. Now, I have just revised to you with the grammar that time words goes where? Where does the time words go? before the verb before the verb so therefore logically the in the time flows that could that actually is to do with time okay so sometimes yes yes marissa that's fine sometimes we use one verb to indicate the time and then the main verb to talk about what we're going to do okay for example Number of uh, uh, example one, uh, Ibona, 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 are you here? I think you're here. Uh, page hundred and forty-two. Okay, if Ibona can't do it just yet, we'll get Jennifer to do it. I think Jennifer is here. Sorry, mom. Sorry. Uh, Jennifer. Yes, uh, mom. Okay. Oh, Ibona's forgot her her book. Okay, it's okay. All right. Uh, Jennifer. Number two, mom. Uh huh. Number uh, number one. 上大学的时候。上大学的时候，你爱看书吗？ 书. Okay, a lot of you are now saying 书, probably 书。你爱看书吗？ 对。你爱看书吗？ What does that mean? 你爱看书吗？ 对. What does that mean? Um, reading, mom. It's about reading. Yeah, but what's the first action? Um, I love to read the book. Or no, 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 no. No, the huh? first action, what's the first uh, action? Is 上大学, when you're attending university. Okay. okay. Now notice here is the opposite to English. English, you would say uh, at the university, at the time of you, uh, uh, at the time of you attending university, did you love to read books? Okay, but okay. in Chinese, yes, it's the opposite. Oh, so action one is actually to indicate the time. So 
上大学 when you 上大学 and when. Okay, so okay. action one is the use to indicate the time. Action one plus and then these conjunctions. 以前以后呃的时候 Okay, in this case, it's the 时候 Okay, the 时候 and the uh, uh the 时候 and then. 你爱看书吗 Do you love to read books? Okay. So, what is the most most important words in this sentence? If you want to locate the kitchen, what is the most? What are the important words if you want to locate the kitchen? The reference point. What is the reference point here? Remember that term. Yours, need okay. Because if I can't locate you, I cannot find the kitchen. All right. So the first thing Chinese is very logical, not like in English. It's the opposite. Somehow you say the directions first, and then you say the reference point. That's you know just back to front. Okay. But Chinese is very consistent. You tell. The subject is what you're looking for. Zai, it indicates a place. After Zai, is the reference point. It's the common knowledge that both of you can see. It's the reference point. And then the location word, Duo Bian, location words. Okay. So the important thing, the key thing in this one is. Need is the reference point. Now I want you to remember that. Okay, it's a always remember it. It's the reference point. Okay, reference point. Without this point, you cannot locate anything because reference point is usually the shared knowledge before the、uh, between the speaker and the listener. Okay, all right. So remember that concept. Reference point. All right. So the verbs, or if you read through it, what is the verb in the sentence side, and where do the locations go in the above sentence? They go after need in the sentence. What does need do in the above sentence? Need is the reference point used to locate the kitchen. If the reference reference point is not known. You cannot locate the kitchen. Okay, so what is the appropriate question if you want to ask the question? Where is the kitchen? So where's the kitchen? How would you ask where's the kitchen? And let me see. Ah,、uh, Mary, please. Annabelle. 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 Okay, 厨房在哪里啊？厨厨厨房在哪里 ？Okay, so 厨房 is what you're looking for. 厨厨厨房房，厨房在哪里 ？Okay, 在哪里 ？So that's uh, that's just a question. There's no reference point of 哪里 ？Okay, 哪哪哪 ？Because it's two third tones, 哪 turns into second tone. Okay, 哪里？很好。So remember the important thing of the reference point. Okay, the next page, the next page. Oh, answer. 厨房在哪里 Okay. All right. Ah,、um, the next one is the hard thing. Okay, there is a situation where you might know what you're looking for. But you have you you both can see the the listener and the speaker can see with their naked eyes the position of a particular room. Okay, so somehow you need to start with the knowledge you share. The knowledge you share is that room, not a kitchen or anything. That room. So you need to start with that room. If that's the case, what do you do? Okay, sentence B on page hundred and fifty-nine. I think、uh, Regina, can you read this out? Sentence B on page hundred and fifty-nine. 用熟的第一天
吃我的厨房。对啦，右手的第一间是我的书房。So what is the reference point in this sentence? What are you starting with? What's before 是？我的 The reference is 我的。No, what's before 是？ What words are before 是？右手的。右手的。右手的。第一。右手的第一天。What is it? What kind of information is ah、uh, is this? 右手的第一天 is a. What is it? The first room. It's a position, right? It's a it's a position on the right. So the reference point is right hand. 右手 we both are right hand. The first room on the right. Okay. So yet again, you see, it's reverse to English. Okay. So you say, okay, 右手的第一间是我的书房 is my study. 右手的第一间。What is it? What is it? I I I told in week one. What does she do? I wonder anybody remember. She is not the same as English. Verb. The verb. verb. But the it's verb. a very special verb. It's not like even she, I am going to complete the sentence. It's yeah. It's like a equal yeah, sign. It's like remember equal sign. Equal sign. So when you have an equal sign, left hand side and right hand side must be the same things. So you can't have 我是很好 I am very well, which is wrong because 我 is a person, 很好 is an adjective. They do not equal. Okay. So in Chinese, you cannot say 我是很好 You can say 我很好 Okay, because she is like an equal sign. So here, when we use she, we are matching the first room on the right equals to my study. Okay, so we are doing a matching exercise. Okay, matching exercise. So you start with a room, a position, a location. And you match it to a name of that location. Okay, so this is very different from the previous one because we don't know what that room is. All we know is that's a room. So we need to somehow first label the room first, and then we can find the rest. Okay. Now, notice yet again in this sentence. Very important. It's 右手的 being the reference point, okay? And the location goes after the reference point, okay? So very important to actually do that. Ah,、uh, you actually do that. So ah,、uh, it's a、uh, it's reverse to English, okay? 